Hey guys, it's Kayla. So I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone because it is highly requested. I don't know why, but anything that we post, people comment asking for what's on my iPhone. Jessica filmed and uploaded hers already, so here I am. Here's mine. You're welcome. Okay, so this is my lock screen and it's from a year ago, literally my birthday last year. I never know to make my lock screen, so I just put that for, yeah. My home screen is me and my best friend Kylie, that was taken a couple days ago. These are all my apps, which I used to have them color coordinated, but then I started getting lazy, so every time I downloaded apps, I just put them in the folders, so, you know. I'm first going to start off with my doc, which is at the bottom, because those are like my basics. Instagram, this is my Instagram. If you want to go follow me, you know, you don't have to, but like, if you want to, I'm trying to get a feed, so go support me. Next, I have Snapchat, which Snapchat is my favorite social media app because I just talk to all my friends on it. Even if we're not friends, I'll start talking to people on it. I like don't use text messaging. I always Snapchat people. This is my Snapchat if you want to go add me. And yes, I have private stories. Who doesn't? I'm not going to show you what's on the private stories, but you know, that's there. And I love how my Bimoji has a little graduation cap because I'm graduating in like two and a half months. So then I have text messaging, which I'm not going to go into it because you know what that is. I clearly don't open my text messages. I have 171 unopened texts. So if you need me, just Snapchat me because I probably won't answer you on text. Twitter. Literally in the first video, I just changed my profile picture because it didn't match like my header, but now it matches. So this is my Twitter. I don't tweet like personally, but if I see something funny or relatable, I'll go retweet it and it's just fun. So then we have like all the basic apps and in between I put my favorite. This is Visco, which Visco is how I edit my pictures and I also have like a little feed going on there. If you want to go follow my Visco. I'm like giving myself so much promotion. It's Kayla Ross X, the same as my Instagram and Twitter. I'm going to use this picture as an example. Um, me and Jessica just had a photo shoot in my room last night and took pictures, and this was my favorite one that came out. Didn't see it until after I posted pictures, but it's fine. So, when I edit my pictures, I use C1, and then I click it, and I move it down to, like, a quarter of a way, something like that. And then I go to exposure, and I turn up the exposure because I want my feed bright, so I want all my pictures really bright. And that's literally it. I don't put that much work into it okay so then if you go a little farther down you have Pinterest I didn't really use Pinterest that much but then one night at like 2 in the morning I decided to go on and make new boards and pin things and now it's become an addiction it's really addicting addicting yep it's really addicting and it will pull you in I will literally be up all night pinning stuff and making new pins so then I have Facebook which I only use it to like post pictures because my grandma will call me and tell me to post pictures so she can share them to all her friends. So all her friends hype me up. I'm like, thank you, thank you, you know. Like when your mom posts a picture of you on Facebook and everybody comments like, wow, she's so beautiful, so cute. That's like how I feel, like when my grandma shares my stuff. And when my mom and dad share it, just all their friends are just like... Makeup, I'm trying to film a video. If you can just pause for about 10 minutes. And I have Seacoast Bank, which is my banking, but there's no money in it because I'm broke. And I also have Venmo, which is where I make my family send me money because I am broke. Basics, basics, basics. And then the things that I use the most are put in these random folders, literally no idea. So this one is just apps that I either don't know about or they go with my watch. So like the activity and watch obviously go with my watch. And the other ones, no idea why they're in there, but it's fine. This folder I literally have most of my apps in. It's a mess, so we're going to go through that. So I have Netflix, Facetune 2, which on Facetune, I use it to whiten the background on my pictures. Like I said, I want my feed to be bright and colorful, so I just go in. What is he doing? So I just go in and this is the before and this is the after. You just go to retouch, whiten, and then I just like scribble around. Mako, you're not featured in this video. That's pretty much it. 
<laughs> they go. <laughs> then I have horoscopes and tumblr which I don't use those anymore that was like old Kayla I used to be obsessed with reading my horoscope every day and going on tumblr don't know why I still have them because I haven't gone on it in months but it's still there whatever then I have Starbucks which obviously that's Starbucks if I want to like buy a drink order it before I get there if anybody wants to send me a gift card to Starbucks then that's what I use same with Chick-fil-A, I order my food before I get there, so then the line's quicker, and if I have gift cards. TikTok, oh my gosh. I am like a TikTok queen, don't mean to brag. I make really good TikToks. Go follow me, it's Ross. So then I have Countdown, which obviously it's a countdown to a certain date. So I think I have my birthday, and... But that's my birthday one, and then I also have the days till graduation. I have Skyward, which is to see my grades. Let me know if you use Skyward too. Probably not. Probably. If you go to my school, then obviously. But we're not going to look at my grades because, um... Next. Next is bell schedule, which is for my school. If I'm sitting in class and I don't know what time the bell rings, I just automatically click that and it'll pull up to the bell schedule, you know? Um, I don't know what these apps are because I haven't used them in so long. Then I have PhotoFox, which I haven't used it in a really long time, so I'm not really sure how it works, but it's pretty much you can make a random background in the back of your picture. So next I have Pixaloop. This was a picture of my brother, and I made it to where the water looks like it's moving. So if you want to do like the moving pictures, then this is the app. I'm just going to show you this because I don't remember how I did it, but that's what this app does. Next, I have Bumble because your girl needs a man's. Just kidding. She has her man's. Now, I use Bumble for BFF to get BFFs, find new friends, which I've actually met like so many people through this app and we just follow each other. I have one of them on Snapchat. One of them DMs me all the time. I find really good, cool friends, really cool friends. Then I have VPN, which VPN is for when I'm on my school Wi-Fi. In some buildings of my school, it like will not connect at all. There's no connection. So I go onto the Wi-Fi, but then the Wi-Fi has social media blocked. So if you have your Wi-Fi turned on and then you turn on VPN, it unblocks all those things. So you're just using the Wi-Fi and there's no block, if that makes any sense. Then I have Life360, which I can't go on it because it's going to show you my location. But it's pretty much if you want to track your friends or if your parents want to track you, all that stuff tracks you and it also shows them what speed you are driving at. It will show the person what speed you're going and it also shows them the battery percentage of their phone. So if they want to say that their phone's dying and it's actually at 67%, you can see that. If you get the upgrade, you can see how much they were using their phone while they were driving. And there's a bunch of other features to it, but yeah. You guys all understand, when you get bored, you just download random games. So I go on to like the number one games and I download those. So I got Flip Trickster, which if you guys haven't played, it's so addicting. And I've gotten like really far into the game. So we're going to, I'm going to go to like the first round so I look good. So pretty much it gives you like challenges to do and you just make your person flip. Okay, so then I have episode and if you don't know what episode is, it's basically like stories so you go through a story and it, it will let you pick what she says, what she wears, what pretty much what your person does. And it gets really annoying sometimes because you have to pay for a lot of things. So if my girl's going to the club and everybody's like dressed up, I have to pay for her to look cute and I'm not going to like pay towards the app. So I have to literally make my girl go in sweatpants and a hoodie to the club while everyone else looks cute. It gets really annoying and aggravating, but it's fine. Then I have Fortnite, obviously everybody knows what Fortnite is. This is just not working out for me. <laughs> My screen recording wasn't going. I have photo math, which you scan a math problem and it gives you the answer. So, um, you know, if your homework is really hard, you don't understand it or you don't feel like doing it, then you just scan the problem and it like works it out too so you can show your work. I have Cash App which is the same as Venmo so 
you can just send each other money through your what? So Cash App is the same as Venmo. You pretty much just send each other money, like friends to friends, you know, all that stuff. Time Hop is where you can see your old tweets or posts. I have mine connected to my Twitter and my Facebook. Oh! <laughs> Jessica, you need to hear this one. Eight years ago today, I posted on Facebook, putting up a video of me singing. Oh, no. <laughs> and my last app is Socratic, which I also use in school. You scan your problem. You scan a problem, which is like English or science, all that stuff, and it searches all over the web for an answer. So it will give you the answer or it will let you Google it. So that is it for what's on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that there wasn't much to it, but that's what you guys requested. That's all that's on my iPhone. Also, if you want to get my case, it's on Wildflower Cases. It's not my case. I didn't create it, but it's the case I have on my phone. If you liked this video or you liked seeing me, subscribe to my channel. This is my new channel. I parted ways with Jessica, so this is my own channel. So subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on all the social medias that I said in this video. And go watch Jessica's video where she showed you guys what's on her eye. Bye! This video felt like it took 20 years to film!